you have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing another what is in my bag, but everyday current essentials for uh, the times of today. If you guys are new, please make sure to subscribe. Our goal is 60k before the end of July. Also, leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoy the video. And I have a hair in my mouth. That's cute. Maybe I don't. I don't know. My fan is on and my hair is just... It's like the little baby hairs. <laughs> Also, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. I reply to every single comment that you guys leave. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. Comments are helping my channel grow so, so much right now. So I appreciate everyone who takes the time to comment something. I love you guys and let's hop into today's video. All right, this is my new baby, my new beauty. You guys know I love Teddy Blake handbags. I have worked with them quite a few times in the past. Uh, they are working with me again on today's video. So I'm so appreciative and thankful for this beautiful bag. I have, I think, four bags from them now and their quality is just impeccable. It's amazing. Everything is designer without the designer price tag. So I feel like bags like this you, you would usually see for at least a thousand, maybe two thousand dollars, but everything on their site I want to say is probably under five hundred dollars. So definitely more affordable. Uh, take that with a grain of salt. I know everyone has a different version of what affordable means, but uh, in terms of designer bags, they're definitely more affordable than a lot of the other ones that are on the market. They're also all handmade in Italy, which is really freaking cool. So I love that. Um, I will have some fun other information about the brand down below if you guys want to check them out. And I will have a link to the exact bag that I have down below if you guys are interested and want to check it out. All right, so this bag in particular, so I make sure I get the name right, is the Kate Duo Leather 12 inch in the light beige color. So this one is a perfect neutral color I have a lot of black bags if you guys have seen all of my other what's in my bag videos you guys already know I needed something that was a little more neutral to go with everything and I also needed a bag that was a little bit bigger especially since I have this camera usually with me anytime I go out and I am vlogging and I want to bring my camera with me I just needed a little bit of a bigger bag to you know house all of the stuff that I have to carry around so this is what the bag looks like it is suede on the front and the back lovely design and then it's also got that like um, accordion kind of vibe right here. You guys know I love bags that basically like sit still when you set them down somewhere. You don't have to worry about them falling over. It also has the strap right here so you can wear it. It's like a shoulder bag or you can, you know, carry it with the handles like that. Lots of options with this. I love it. Um, and then there's also the option to expand the bag. If you want to take these out on both sides, you can expand it if you need more room. So plenty of options. Let's hop into what I actually keep inside of the bag. I love that their logos are just very discreet, you know, like they're just right there at the bottom. They're not like full in your face. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like that about their bags. So let's hop in. First thing always is my phone. I just did a what's on my iPhone video if you guys want to see what I keep on here. Um, and then I'll have everything that I can link from my bag down below for you guys. Um, so my phone, we always have that there. Next thing is my wallet. I love this thing. This is the brand, I wanna say it's like um, Daisy Rose or something like that. I, can't, I get the name mixed up with Casey Holmes store, which is like Rosie Days, but I know it's not that. I think it's Daisy Rose or something along those lines. Um, but you can actually find this at Walmart. I wanna say it's like $18 and it is very similar to the Louis Vuitton style wallet, which I think is awesome because obviously I don't wanna drop a couple grand on a little zip wallet. So definitely more affordable, looks very similar. My friend has the actual version of it and she said it literally looks just like it. So honestly, I've had so many people say they love my wallet and they think it's a Louis Vuitton and then when I tell them it's from Walmart, they're like, what? So they have it in a bunch of different colors. Um, I will go ahead and link it. The chain, I've had this one for almost a year now and the chain is obviously kind of wearing down. Um, I could easily spray paint that and make it look brand new. But I mean, it is $18, so keep that in mind. But honestly, it doesn't bother me. It's wear and tear for most wallets. Um, but yeah, I love the little zipper. The little zipper details and everything haven't faded, which are really nice. It's just the chain itself, but <laughs> excuse me, oh my goodness. Um, that can easily be fixed. I could always put a new chain on there. Yeah. 
so we just have that my keys everything um a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a car tour for my jeep and i would love to maybe in the fall time when it's a lot cooler and i can do the car tour like in my garage or drive somewhere to do it it's just like 100 degrees where i live right now and it is way too warm to stand out and like film and do a full car tour for you guys so coming maybe in the fall we'll get to it okay so basically in the purse there's like a giant pocket and then you have these two smaller pockets on the sides which is awesome to house like little things that you don't want to lose so i'll just start with like everything that i have in like the giant pocket right here first thing that i always keep with me this was a necessity even before all of the corona stuff um I've always been someone, like my mom kind of like drilled this into my brain at a very young age, like always sanitize your hands after you're touching gas pumps or after you, you know, come out of the grocery store. Um, I use these to sanitize my wallet and my phone every time that I leave somewhere before I like get back into my car, before I like settle in. So you can get these at Target. We always pick up um, a few packs every time we go because they're kind of hard to find, especially right now. So that way we always have some. I love these because they're just a little tiny like travel pack so I keep those those are very handy to wipe down like your wallet and your phone and keys and anything that you would have touched while you were in the store uh, next thing is another essential right now I always keep some masks in my purse so these ones are from Ello they gifted me some masks which is amazing um, they have like the child size masks which actually fit my face because I have like the tiniest face ever <laughs> So the children's size actually fit my face pretty dang well. So I have the black and gray of that, and then these ones are like the adult ones, which cover way more of my face. But yeah, so those are the essentials that I have. Um, these are really good quality masks. And I, my family has been like making masks for our family, and all of the ones that they've made have been way too big for my face, and I just feel like it just covers my entire face so especially times that I have to wear them for longer than like a few minutes which is like anytime you go into a store or when I got my hair done um, and when I was getting my lashes done before California shut down completely again um, those ones like covered my entire face so it's nice to have ones that are actually gonna fit my face now especially because we are probably gonna have to wear them for a very long time so it's nice that I have some that actually fit me now so those are the masks that I have next up we have my EpiPens I got so many comments on my last ones in my bag. Everyone was like, oh my goodness, where are your EpiPens? Like, where are they? And I I wasn't leaving my house too much, I felt like, because that was like the start of quarantine. So I didn't think about like putting these in my new bag. Um, and fun fact, I also had like a horrible scare and almost had to go to the emergency room maybe like a month ago. And I didn't have these in my bag when I should have. So lesson learned for me, um, they're always in my bag. So that is that and then the next thing that I have in here is some gum this is the winter mint ascent flavor love this one um, I always keep some gum in my purse and then we have some lotion this is from Crabtree and Evelyn my mom gave me this so long ago actually maybe last year it wasn't like that dramatic long ago um, but this one says it's good for 24 months so can still get some use out of that love this smells amazing this is their calming scent it's lavender and espresso literally the best scent ever I have a comb little marble comb I think I got this one from Walmart or maybe Target it's the brand Conair um, I just have that in my bag because sometimes I need to brush my hair I also always like to keep um, bars in my bag these are the z bar cliff bars like the cliff kid bars i don't know i like these flavors better than like the regular ones that they have so this is the oatmeal cookie one that they have always keep some of those in my bag next up we have some deodorant this is from native this is i have hair all over this welcome to the life of having long hair <laughs> you literally find it everywhere um this is the charcoal scent from native i love this i always keep deodorant either in my car or in my purse because i live in a very hot place right now and if you leave your house you need deodorant honestly you should always be wearing deodorant okay what else do we have in here i think there's oh another pack of gum i already had one like totally hidden in this purse okay cool good to know we got plenty of gum um okay i think that is everything for like the 
open pocket so now we'll pop into the little zippers that I have in here so we'll start in the back one the first thing that I have in here is some hand sanitizer this is from um, Bath & Body Works their Noir men's collection one I love this scent so definitely always have to keep some hand sanitizer you guys already know I've literally been saying that for so many years because people are gross and don't wash their hands especially after the bathroom and it's the most disgusting thing um, so especially now uh, definitely keep hand sanitizer in your purse next thing I have is this buxom lip gloss this is the lip plumper from buxom and this is in the shade white Russian very interesting name for a shade I say that every time I look at it I feel like maybe they could have picked another name for it I don't know <laughs> okay what else do we have in here we have a hair tie so this is the slip silk scrunchies like the mini versions I always keep them pretty much in like every purse in my car and stuff because sometimes I have really long hair and I have a lot of it so uh, I like to just like throw it up and get it out of my face sometimes and we also have some summer Fridays lip balm this is my favorite lip balm honestly ever this and the Laneige lip sleeping mask are like tied for the number one in my opinion this is their vanilla lip butter balm smells amazing love it also the tube is just like very my aesthetic you guys already know so I have some of that and then I always keep little um, lash brushes in my bag I have lash extensions as you guys can see so I always keep those to brush them out anytime that I need to all right next up in here I have some perfume this is by Lancome I want to say it's La Vie Espel I have no idea if I said that right don't come at me in the comments for saying that probably so wrong but during the entire name but this is what it looks like if you guys can see if that focused I have no idea if it did but smells amazing I just I love it so much if you guys like the Gucci Guilty perfume and the YSL black opium I feel like this is in the same kind of scent range as that I feel like you guys would really enjoy this one too so I always keep a little travel perfume in one of my bags I have another thing of hand sanitizer in here so obviously when things got like really crazy it was super hard to find hand sanitizer and luckily I found um, like a bunch of these in my old bags so <laughs> I had some but it was really difficult to find anything at the beginning of all this so when I found some uh, hand sanitizer I grabbed some I don't remember where I got this um, it's by spa room but I just grabbed one. It's always good to have extra hand sanitizer literally in every bag or car. Literally just sanitize your hands, guys. That's all I have to say right now, especially right now. Sanitize your hands. Okay, next up we have my AirPods. Uh, this is for when I want to ignore everybody and um, go about my business and not have to talk to anyone. But I feel like that's much easier now than it was six months ago because now that you have like a mask on I feel like people want to like stay away from you obviously like we're keeping our distance social distancing um, so it's actually quite nice I am thriving in this environment so I always have my airpods with me just in case I need them other side of the bag oh my goodness I have <laughs> I have more brushes I think one of these is an older one because it's totally faded so we're gonna toss that one um, so another lash brush what else we got in here? Ooh, my sunglasses. Always have to have sunglasses on me. So these are the ones that I actually just talked about in my Amazon favorites video. So these ones are like the oversized black aviators and I am living for these. They cover so much of your face. I love it. Mine are a little crooked. I still need to fix the nose pads on them, but I love them. Live in them. They're amazing. I think they have a few other colors and uh, I don't know. They're just like such a classic sleek style. So always keep those they come in this little like travel bag so have that in there I also always almost always mine is the time that I had that scare and I didn't have any of this on me I'm pretty much always carrying some sort of allergy medication so liquid Benadryl is a go-to for me um, you have to buy like the children's Benadryl to get the liquid version of it but if you have allergies like food allergies uh, and you ever eat something and your throat starts to close and you need something ASAP and you don't have your EpiPens 
liquid benadryl is a must i always have a claritin on me this is my other go-to um it's non-drowsy so especially if i'm gonna have to like go about the rest of my day and it's not like that crazy but i'm still having like a mild reaction i always like to have this on me it's very important because my allergies are literally life-threatening so i always try to make sure that i am safe wherever i end up going Next thing that I always try to keep in my bag, especially lately, are pens because there have been times where I've gone places and had to have signed something and I don't want to touch the pen that everybody else is touching because honestly I don't know if they're really sanitizing it. Like I'm sure they are, especially now, but I just, I like to have my own things. There's just too many germs going on right now and I, I need my own pens. Okay, very last thing that I had in the back pocket is this little um, lip gloss. This is also a lip plumper from Sephora. This is their 02 shade. Um, this one is amazing. I have it in the 01 and 02 shade. Love these. They're like $12 at Sephora. They're Sephora brand, but I love them. I feel like they work almost just as good as Buxom. They're not as like tingly for like lip plumping, but they're still really good and definitely have a more affordable price tag. All right, well that is literally everything in my purse. I started putting back some stuff in this pocket after I talked about it, but that is everything in the purse. Fits quite a bit, I love it, it's amazing. I usually have my camera in there too. Um, so yeah, it fits a really good amount. I love that you can open it and expand it if you need more room. I think that is it for my What's in My Bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to everyone who leaves a comment. You guys are amazing. Thank you for taking the time to support me and my channel. I love you guys. Hope you have an amazing day whenever you are watching this, and I will see you guys next time.